I don't know if you guys have heard, but the, there's this submarine that is stuck in the middle of the ocean trying to find the Titanic, but it's lost now, no one can find that. But from what I've heard, the people inside it were having a bachelor party. And this was going to be the special event of the night. Uh, but uh, there was also the choice of going to a Blink-182 concert, and they decided not to do that. But there, is, was, there was this one guy who thought that would make more sense, right, to go to a concert. But I'm thinking, why can you not just do a normal bachelor party like the rest of us? Meet up at a house with some friends and some brewskis and play some board games like uh, Uno, German Uno, Monopoly, Cluedo. Uh, board games that uh, require uh, more than two hours to play and shit like that. Then hire a, a, a Daniel Del lewis impersonator and a Paul Dano impersonator and uh, make them fight to the death to recreate that scene in There Will Be Blood. Then hire a, a stripper, a Russian stripper, uh, who when she sees the, the whole uh, scene of the, of the two impersonators fighting to the death, she decides she won't go through with the dancing and you have to kill her as well. And uh, then you have to bury the body and hide all the evidence, right? And uh, you sign a blood oath with all your friends at the party that you won't tell anything, but there's this one guy who says he won't go through with it and now you have to kill him as well. But that guy is the guy who's gonna get married tomorrow and you get through all those hijinks you kill him and then you have to do the whole Wicked and Burnings thing when you have to pretend that he's alive and the, the, the bride has to, marry, has to kiss and marry a dead guy like come on keep it simple guys